Okay, so I'll just add that this board, uh, the cake won't be moved from the board. So I'm going to ice the, 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 the cake first and the, the board second, but it won't be transferred over. However, if you did want to move your cake off uh, onto a, a different board iced, then you probably want to have a 10-inch card sat underneath. Stick that down first, more ganache, and then put your cake on top, just so you can transfer the cake over. Okay, but as I say, this is going to stay uh, stay put. So, um, so then what I want to do is just lift the top tier off, or the top half of the cake, uh, and then pop that over there and put it in the middle. Now the ganache does set quite quickly, so um, before it sets, what you want to do is get a ruler and you want to measure the sides. Okay, um, so that's five centimeters that side and five centimetres that side and it's four and a half so it needs to come down a little bit so that's five that side and uh, it needs to move down a bit there and now five that side when I say five centimetres actually it's, it's actually from the end of the ruler um, so in a sense it must be four and a half centimetres okay um, now that in inches will be um, two and a half uh, inches okay um, so then what I want to do is then get the ganache and just fill the middle of the cake so nice big dollop don't be scared to put lots of ganache in the middle because it's a luxury product that we want to be selling so big dollop okay now the way that I'm holding the palette knife, you can see when it's covered in chocolate, is uh, as if you're having your, your, your dinner or you're holding your knife and fork, okay? So the knife and fork like this and holding it quite far down, not at the top. And that means you've got the, got the, the, the paddle uh, motion back and forward like that, okay? So in the middle and then start to rock back and forward and you can see there what's happening is I'm not getting any ganache near, uh, the palette knife's not getting anywhere near the cake, so I'm not bringing any crumb up at all, okay? Now if I go around the sides and bring that up, just watch, uh, if you've cut the end I wouldn't do that because you will bring the crumb up but I'm fine because it's not been cut. So it's nice and smooth. It doesn't actually matter if the cake ganache comes over the side because in a sense you're going to be putting ganache around the side anyway. Okay. So I just want to go over it and make sure I've got a nice decent amount. I feel like it's still not got enough on it so I'm going to pop some more on. There we go, that's better. Okay, so that's fine. Um, now, where's the line on the cake? So that's not the line there. Uh, where'd I put that line? I seem to have lost the line. Where's the line? Oh, there it's there. That's fine. Okay, so I want to just lift that cake up. Place it on. There we go. Now, once I get that on, I want to get a bit of CPR. Press down. And there we go. Okay, so uh, once done that, what I want to do is get down and ch just check with your eyes. Just turn the cake around. Now I can see the cake's definitely got a bit of a dome going down that way. So I want to try and press down more on the cake to flatten that down. Uh, but it still looks quite domed there. So I'm not worried about that. It's just a little bit, but a ganache over the top that will take that dome away. So I'm not too worried about that at the moment. But as I said, you can get a spirit level if you want to put a spirit level on just to check the top but that's fine. Now, when I was looking around the side of the cake, you can see here, when it's baked, it's just got a bit of a bevel there, which isn't ideal. Uh, so I want to get the knife, and I just want to give it a little cut there before I do anything else, just to slightly level it off. And that will just make the ganache uh, a little bit easier to go on. Okay, so just taking a slightly bit off the side there, like so. Okay, so that's that part done. So when I come back, I've all tidied up, and then we're gonna move on to applying the ganache to the left, and the right side of the cake.